Today, I'm going to tell you all about the mini suites on board Princess Cruises, as well as the perks that come with this sought after stateroom. How big are they? What's the cabin layout? What amenities are included? I'll cover all of that and much more. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a splendid day and if you're new here, welcome. I recently sailed on the Regal Princess and I stayed in a mini suite. I've already done a few videos about this sailing and I will link two of them at the end for you. One is my full cruise review and the other is all about the food on the Regal Princess. This video is going to be all about the mini suites and the benefits you get if you stay in the stateroom. I'm also going to cover the perks included with the club class or reserve collection mini suites. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk about the mini suites first and then I'll get into the club class mini suites. Oh, Princess has recently changed the name of the club class suites to the reserve collection. Reserve collection is kind of an odd name, but that's what Princess went with. The mini suites on Princess are around 320 square feet, including the balcony. These are much larger than a standard balcony cabin. Balcony cabins are approximately 220 square feet, including the terrace. One of the great things about mini suites is that they have a separate living area with a sofa bed and coffee table. They also have a desk and chair and two flat screen televisions, one in the living room and one in the bedroom area. Here's one of the floor plans, but it's important to note that floor plans may vary a little depending on the ship. Balconies are typically standard size with two chairs and a table. Oh, and Princess does have some mini suites without balconies. Princess calls these mini suites no balcony, but most of the mini suites do have terraces. Mini suites have upgraded mattress toppers and pillows and 100% cotton high thread count linens. I thought the bed in our sailing was very comfortable. If you're like me, another great reason to book a mini suite is because the bathrooms have tubs. The bathroom in my mini suite was a good size and was stocked with toiletries, including body wash, lotion, and combination shampoo and conditioner. I had to use my own conditioner. All mini suites include a welcome glass of champagne, which is a very nice touch. Mini suites can generally hold up to four passengers because they do have a sofa bed. But on Princess's website, they do say that some mini suites are limited to two or three passengers. Okay, so that's an overview of the mini suites on Princess Cruises. Now let's talk about the reserve collection mini suites. These staterooms are in preferred locations on the ship, but you also get some other benefits. One of those is an exclusive dining area with a dedicated wait staff. On my sailing, this was the Symphony Dining Room. This dining room was reserved for club class or reserve collection passengers. You don't need reservations, you just show up when you're ready to eat and there's no waiting. You're supposed to be seated immediately and we were always seated right away on our cruise. This exclusive dining room also has special menu items. On our cruise, we had shrimp fra diavolo one night and lobster thermidor on another night. Is it fra diavolo, fra diavolo? I don't know. Our wait staff called these chef specials and both were very good. The dining room was open for breakfast and dinner every day and it was also open for lunch on sea days. We did have lunch there one day and it was good. We had a beautiful table with an ocean view. Another perk is that you can have evening canapes upon request. This isn't a really great benefit because room service for mini suite passengers is free. In fact, room service is free for all Princess passengers, which I think is great because a lot of cruise lines now charge for room service. Princess does charge for some items, but many are complimentary. You also get upgraded bathrobes and what they call wine setup on embarkation day. And this wine setup is half a bottle of red wine and half a bottle of white. For some reason, we didn't get this amenity, but we did get a bottle of champagne. So maybe that was in lieu of the wine setup. We had the Princess Premier package, which includes drinks up to $20. So the complimentary champagne or the wine setup really wasn't a big deal. And finally, you get priority embarkation and disembarkation. We didn't use the priority embarkation because when we got to the terminal, it was pretty empty and we were on the ship before we knew it. But we did use the disembarkation service and we were personally escorted off the ship, which was very nice. So let's recap. Mini suites are approximately 320 square feet, including the balcony. 
They have a bathroom with a tub. There's a separate sitting area with a sofa. They have two flat panel televisions. They have upgraded mattress toppers and pillows. They have high thread count linens and you get a welcome glass of bubbly. With the reserve collection mini suite, you get all these amenities plus some other perks. You get a prime ship location. You get priority embarkation and disembarkation. You get a one-time complimentary wine setup. You get evening canapes upon request, upgraded bathrobes. You also can take advantage of an exclusive area of the main dining room with expedited seating, and there are additional menu options. I hope this information helps if you're considering booking a princess mini suite. If you did find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of different cruise videos on lots of different topics, and I would absolutely love it if you would join my traveling party. Have you ever stayed in a mini suite on princess cruises? If so, please leave me a comment and tell me how you liked it. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.